Hey boys and girls, this is another book from the Gross Body Functions series and it's called Boogers and Snot by Grace Hansen. Boogers and Snot by Grace Hansen. <clears throat> this is a common feature of a nonfiction text and this is a nonfiction text. It's talking about actual things that happen in our body. And we actually do create boogers and snot in our nose. And so this is going to talk about it. Page uh, four is the chapter, Let's Boogie, Making Mucus, page eight. And let's review page 22. So this uh, is an important feature of a nonfiction text because it tells you what chapters are in the book and what subjects are going to be covered. Let's boogie. Boogers and snot can be pretty gross, but they actually have an important job to do inside your body. Snot is another word for mucus that comes out of the nose. Boogers are dried snot. Um, that's gross. Making mucus. Mucous membranes make mucus. Mucous membranes are a part of your innate immune system. Your immune system helps fight germs that enter your body. So it looks like this is a common feature of nonfiction text is a picture diagram with labels. And this says mucus. So this is the, the snot or the mucus in your nose. This is the mucus gland. So this creates the mucus. And these are the germs and viruses that enter your body. So... If there's no mucus there, you're totally exposed to all these germs. But it looks to me like the, the layer of mucus is like a force field, like a protection from the germs. Mucus membranes line the inside of the nose and mouth. They also line the lungs and other areas of the body. And this is a diagram and it's labeling the nose, the mouth, and the lungs. And you can see the mucus inside. The nose, mouth, and lungs are open to the outside world. It is easy for germs to enter through these parts of the body. You can see all the germs going in. Mucus is mostly made up of water and salt, but it also has proteins and antibodies. These things help fight germs. Mucus is also thick and sticky. This helps it to trap the germs. So here's a trapped germ in the mucus inside your body. If you are sick or have allergies, you might have to blow your nose a lot. You also might feel inflammation. This is your body's way of reacting to and flushing allergens out. So these are the allergens. And this is excess mucus production. So you're creating a lot of mucus because of all the allergens coming in your body. Your body's trying to protect you from it. Sometimes you even cough up mucus. This is just another way the body gets rid of germs or irritants. Let's review. Snot is mucus. A booger is dried mucus. Mucus membranes make mucus. These membranes line the mouth, nose, lungs, and other areas of the body. Mucus production is part of our innate immune system. The immune system protects us from germs that enter our body, and mucus is thick and sticky. It traps germs. Then the mucus leaves our bodies through the nostrils or mouth. And this is a glossary. <clears throat> and the glossary gives you um, important vocabulary words that are in the book, and it gives you definitions of what those words mean. What those words mean. So innate is existing in someone from the time of birth. So if you're reading a book and you see a word that you don't know what it means, you can always turn to the glossary and read the definition to get a better understanding. This is the index, and the index also lists important vocabulary words that are in the book, but this 
tells you what pages these words are mentioned on. So mouth is listed on page 10 and 12. Proteins is listed on or is mentioned on page 14. Nose is on page 6, 10, 12, and 18. So if you wanted to learn more about the nose, you could turn to page 6 or page 10 or page 12 or page 18. This book has been called Boogers and Snot by Grace Hansen, and it is part of the Gross Body Function series for kids. I hope you enjoyed it.